Um, last video covered CTs, um, and then I told you I was going to do CT proper today. So, um, CT proper. Um, from last time, there's three branches. CT proper is kind of by definition. Its definition is it is a gelatinous. Um, gelatinous ground substance and the thing that differentiates all CT proper is the <clears throat> excuse me is the fiber types and these fiber types with I guess how much they are and kind of all that jazz can determine their function so we're gonna kinda go over CT propers um, and to address the fibers is probably the Oops, sorry about that. It is to probably address the thing we can do best. Sorry about that. I had to adjust my window. Uh, so fiber types. Um, there's three fiber types. Uh, you've probably heard of these. Um, collagen. Collagen is one fiber type. Fiber type number two is elastic and that kind of does what it does and the third type oops, sorry about that third type is reticular this one is an interesting one um, and we will go into depth tick reticular reticular fibers um, the most common is collagen. Collagen is, I wouldn't say in everything, but it is in a lot of things. Um, I guess it's kind of the bomb-proof stuff that's in most things. So, say your skin, there's tons of collagen fibers in there. Um, the, actually, it's just funny, the reticular layer has tons of collagen. And then, um, so... This is going to be tough. If you guys look under a microscope, it's going to be white. Um, and they kind of go in waves a little bit. So this would be white. They can show up pink as well, depending on the stain. But they kind of go in these layers like this, and they're parallel. Um, when we get into the types of cells, um, you'll see that most have collagen. And then some have elastic, and then reticular is kind of on its own. So collagen is white fibers, and they go in bundles. Um, one kind of thing to remember is, actually this is how I visualize it, is, let's see here. Ready for this? Scar tissue. Tissue, sorry. Tissue. Um, you know, notice how it can get white after a long time and before it's pink and kind of wavy. I have one on my arm that's turned fully white. And that's that. Um, elastic. Elastic is pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you think of elastic rubber band, you think of recoil. So that's one property. Um, you can find this. They're kind of squiggly. Let's see if I can find them. They're kind of like if this is around the aorta, let's say. Aortic. Or not the aorta, excuse me. What is that called? Um, excuse me. I think it is the aorta. Anyway, so this would be kind of the bunched up. So when blood goes through, it can expand out to maybe something that looks like this. I'm trying it. Hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. It can be like that, and then it will, once the blood has been pushed through the aorta, then it can shrink back down to this size. And when you look under a microscope, it's pretty interesting. So those are elastic fibers. So they allow for stretch. Um, kind of your ear uses a lot of elastic fibers because you can play with it maybe epiglottis, if you know what that is. Um, that's kind of when you swallow. I won't put that, but ear and aorta. So they allow for recoil and stretching. 
And the last one I think is pretty interesting is your reticular fibers. Um, they only show up with a special stain. So what we're going to do here. Oh, I can't do... Hmm. I guess I'll do white. Reticular fibers are interesting in that they're highly branched. So high branched. Um, they don't they don't go in oh, excuse me. They don't go in this kind of regular fashion like parallel, here we go, parallel or kind of arranged in one cool thing like that. But they are highly branched. And when I say highly branched, it's crazy. Um, they just form a network or what they call a stroma and you'll see this in spleen kidneys and stuff like that where their cells kind of Just chilling on them. Um, they kind of provide a sweet network. So let me put that down. That's kind of a Takeaway Concept Network um, and like I said, they can make a stroma, which is another word, and you can find this and say spleen is a good one. Um, I guess lymph nodes. Anything where, I guess, cells can sit on this network. So the reticular fibers are actually the white in here. Reticular are the white. So that actually looks exactly like it. But yeah, you can imagine just everywhere, just through the whole thing, and it makes eventually an entire, say, kidney. Who knows? Yeah, With all these things suspended in it. So those are the three types. Um, I think I'm going to stop there because after this it gets really specific as to exactly what cells are what... And Dense. Actually, I'll do that. That's kind of a nice intro. So, I hope you remember in the last video, there's CTs, and there's three different types. There's the fluid, there's the um, supporting, oh, thank goodness, and then there's the, what we just talk about right now, CT proper. So we just kind of did the general characteristics of CT proper. And from here, and there's actually, wait for it, another brain. Why is this over there? I'm sorry, that's been in the whole time. Proper, so there's loose, CT proper, and dense, CT proper. Um, I guess I could give you a little bit because I don't want to have you guys over 10 minutes because that is no fun. Yeah, we're going to we're going to go back into the next video. Next video we'll go actually more specifically loose kind of cells, specific cell types and then dense again, specific cells or CTs. So um, next video, we will cover this, but in this video, I just wanted to kind of give you the fibers before I throw everything on it. Um, once again, this is a, an area that I struggled a lot with. I drew it all out. These might help you. Um, but CT proper, gelatinous, um, and they have different fiber types. So collagen is the parallel. Remember, scar tissue elastic is recoil. I can remember in the aorta. So blood would be, with the blood cells would be in here, pushing through. If you look at the heart, and whatever, you don't even know that. <laughs> and also in the ear, because I think it's springy. And reticular is going to form a network, and that is actually, I'll just do it for you, stroma actually means network. So it forms a stroma in the spleen and lymph nodes and kidneys as well. And they are highly branched and basically they're there to hold cells and structures and all that fun stuff. So I hope this was helpful. I'll go over this one more time. So fluid and supporting we are not doing right now. We are just doing CT proper. And my next video will be doing loose and dense CT proper. 
Alright guys, thanks.